Is the direct connection kit worth it? You, you feel that? You feel that? The transmission is crazy. That, that uh, thermostat, that 180 degree thermostat comes on immediately. The shifting, bro. You feel me? The shifting is crazy. Pay attention to the shifting. That 180 degree thermostat, see what I'm saying? You will not reach 200 degrees in this car once you put that 180 degree thermostat in there. Look at it. All that beating that I've been doing on this car, just dropping. All right, squad. What we got here? Direct connection. All right, squad, so this is the direct connection setup. So this is the tuner. Uh, this is the little screen that it comes with, believe it or not. So this is the startup screen whenever you start your engine up. As you can see, this is literally ProClip everything. They use the same mounts that ProClip for the iPhone uses. So let me see if I can brighten that up. So whenever your installer installs this kit, make sure that he does it real clean. All the wires are tucked inside of this panel and they come around over here to your OBD sensor. That's where it's at right there. So it's, it's tucked in under here, completely hidden, completely hidden, and there it is right there. That's where it's plugged in. All right, so boom, let's get to it. So when you start up your engine, this is what you're gonna see. Now, one thing I do wanna say is you do not actually need to have the screen plugged in all the time. Truth be told, you really don't need this screen at all because once they install the direct connection on your car it's on your car because it's the saw it's the hardware the pre-stage the stage one and then a stage two all you need this for really is when it's time to install another tune or if you want to do performance tests tuning diagnostics whatever me personally i just have it set up for the gauges it's direct connection so we're not going to talk about that all right so this is how i got my um diagnostic set up or my um performance screen set up so one thing you'll notice is everything you see here you'll pretty much see in your performance pages on your car, which is why you really don't need the screen all the time, to be real with you. You really don't, you know what I'm saying? It's really just redundancy. It tells you your engine speed, it's got my fuel level, which is pretty cool. I can see it to the percentage. My speed, horsepower, torque, all that stuff. All that stuff, you know what I'm saying? It's going up. So I mean, it'll tell you your trip in miles, your horsepower when you're getting on it, fuel level, torque. You can change that however you want. You can go to different screens. Let's see here, different options, all that stuff. Me personally, all that stuff is overkill. But like I said, you really don't need the screen to be active at all. Like once you get the tune installed on your car, it's there. Like once I go to my SRT pages, you know, normal um, 757. And that's because of the pre-stage and the stage one. So at this point, I'm good to go. Like I said, I really don't need this, but you can keep it there. Now, that's the hardware. Let's talk about the performance of Direct Connection. So um, I'm just gonna get out of this. <coughs> so you got tuning. You will need to be connected to a Wi-Fi signal whenever the tune comes in. So for you guys that'll get like pre-stage one and you want stage one and then stage two, in order to download that, you will need to be connected to a Wi-Fi signal. I am out here in the boonies, nowhere near Wi-Fi, so this screen is probably gonna give us an error here pretty soon. But this is where you would uh, tune it at. So whenever they send you a new tune, this is the screen that you would do it from. So it's just gonna load, and eventually it's gonna tell me I'm not connected to anything. See what I'm saying, Wi-Fi is required. So boom, performance test. <coughs> I got something stuck in my throat, pause. 0 to 60, 0 to 100, quarter mile, eighth of a mile, the whole nine. Once again, all really redundant stuff. Your settings are just for like the color and the brightness. Stage code is whenever the time comes for you to go from like pre-stage to stage one to stage two. Diagnostics is if anything is wrong. The tuning, like I said, when you get a new tune, that's the screen you want to go to. But nine times out of 10, 100% of the time, you're just going to have it on your gauges. Hardware rather. This is what your screen will look like. You can set this up however you want to. You can have speed in the right. You can have fuel level in the left. As you can see, I got some redundancy here. I got speed twice, fuel level twice, horsepower twice, torque twice. You can do it however you want to. So that's just the screen. So let's get into the actual performance of the car. All right, squad, so boom. As you can see here, 
custom mode 757. That's because of the pre-stage and the stage one. The pre-stage took my 717 horsepower Hellcat jailbreak to 722, and then stage one took it to 757. And then stage two, can't hint between you and I, should take it between 780 and 790. So basically giving you a red eye. You know what I'm saying? Um, one thing that uh, they also do in conjunction with giving you the pre-stage and the stage one is a transmission tune. Now, let me tell you something. I'm gonna keep it 100. That transmission tune is crazy. You will bang off of these gears like crazy. When you put this thing in the track mode and you put it in the full track suspension, track transmission, the transmission shifting is ridiculous. It bangs you off of the gear so hard, it's crazy. When I first got on it, I had to call my guy, shout out to my guys down in uh, Alpharetta, Georgia, Palmer Dodge. I had to call my guy Ryan and Kyler because the shifting was so abrupt, like it was shaking me forward, it was jerking me forward. I had to call them just to make sure that everything was okay because the shifting was so, you know, aggressive. I was like, this can't be right. But it's all a part of the transmission tune. So you get the pre-stage, the stage one, and the transmission tune because quite naturally, if you're adding more power, you have to have a transmission that can compensate for that additional power, right? So the transmission tune, you're gonna feel that immediately. And of course the power, you're gonna feel that with the acceleration. So let's do some, some quick runs here and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. The shifting on this is crazy. It's the shifting, bro. The transmission shifting is crazy. And then that that uh, thermostat, that 180 degree thermostat comes on immediately. Yeah. You feel that? You see it? That thermostat comes on with the quickness. Let's do this about two more times here before the police come. See what I'm saying? The shifting. see any cops? No, nah, we straight. All right, let's go from a dig. They're about to call 12. We're gonna do it from a dig and then we're gonna keep rolling. All right, let's wait till that slow ass car in front of me. Shifting, bro. You feel me? The shifting is crazy. That's the best part about the direct connection, man. Like it gets you up and out of them gears with the quickness. You hear it downshifting like a bitch, don't you? That's why I love this direct connection, man. I'm telling you, it gets you through those gears with the quickness. Now, don't get me wrong, the power is there, no doubt. You feel me? No doubt that the power is there. I can definitely feel the difference between, you know, my stock Hellcat and the uh, stage one with the pre-stage. But I'm telling you, the shifting is what makes it all the more better, man. This thing shifts so hard, it bounces you, it bangs you off the gears, you feel me? Just pay attention to the shifting, man. And of course, the benefit of the Direct Connection program, it's, it's all installed by Dodge, it's warrantied by Dodge. So you take it to Dodge, you have them install it, you mess it up, you take it right back, they'll take care of you. You don't have to worry. It takes all the guessing out, takes all of the, you know, the, the guessing as to how the work is going to be done, whether or not it's going to work. 
Cause you know Dodge, they're, they're the type of company like they're really quick to void some warranty information. Like they do not like doing warranty work if they don't have to. If they can, you know, give you the boot, they certainly will. Let's see if we can get on it real quick. Pay attention to the shifting. Pay attention to, you see what I'm saying? That shifting is stupid. That's the first thing I noticed about this kit was the shifting. It jerks you. I'm gonna just slow down just a little bit. And like I said, you can kiss traction goodbye in a car like this. Let's look at the shifting. You see what I'm saying? You're getting up and out of, you're getting out of those gears, man. Uh-oh, is it overheating? That 180 degree thermostat, see what I'm saying? You will not reach 200 degrees in this car once you put that 180 degree thermostat in there. Look at it. All that beating that I've been doing on this car, just dropping. Listen to the fan. 186, it was 192 when we first started filming. 186, 185. 183 how low can we go how low can we go all right i get okay 181 we'll take that but is the direct connection kit worth it hold on fam we all going is the direct connection kit worth it hold on all right so is the direct connection kit worth it i don't know how many times i'm gonna keep saying that hell yes I mean, for the simple fact that, for one, it's installed by Dodge, it's warranty by Dodge. Dodge professionals install it. Mind you, I did not take my car to somebody's backyard and have them install this shit on there. I took it to a legitimate Dodge dealership, a power broker in Alpharetta, Georgia. Shout out to Palmer Dodge in Alpharetta, Georgia. For some reason, no other Dodge dealerships in North Carolina, to my knowledge, is a power broker and is installing stage kits, which is why I'm literally sending everybody in North Carolina to Georgia because Georgia's making moves and North Carolina's not, unfortunately. But um, shout out to Palmer Dodge in Georgia. You need to talk to either Kyler, he's top dog when it comes to the service work, or my man Ryan, who is a uh, um, you know, head representative kind of guy, head serviceman or whatever um, guy as well. He's the one that kind of facilitated the whole, um, uh, you know, making it happen basically and making sure that the kids came in and then Kyler was the one that actually installed it on my car. Um, solid guys, I'll put their link and all that stuff in the description. But like I said, the biggest thing with the kits is the peace of mind factor. The fact that number one, it's installed by Dodge Professionals. I took it to a legitimate Dodge dealership. They had my car raised up in a Dodge garage. All of the parts were certified direct connection, Mopar Dodge parts, uh, specifically made for my Hellcat. Um, and then of course, it's warranty by Dodge. If anything breaks on this car, stops working, starts malfunctioning, I'm taking it right to the nearest Dodge dealership and it's all under warranty. It's all attached to your VIN number Therefore, they know that it was installed by a Dodge Professional. Now, with that being said, going from 7, 717 to 757, that's not the biggest jump in the world. I know that, and I know you know that as well. But at the end of the day, uh, there are other kits that you can go. You can go to Walmart and get a, a tuner, uh, have your homeboy hook you up in his backyard. But you know, like I know, that when shit blows up and now it's time to pay $5,000 or $4,000 or $6,000 for a genuine SRT product, right? because Dodge is not gonna cover it because you went out and had Jose and Hose B messing with your car, you're gonna think to yourself, I probably should have just went with the Dodge product. And that right there is the biggest thing with me is peace of mind. Um, don't expect a thousand horsepower out of this kit, at least not yet. Um, for the Hellcats, to my understanding, there's only pre-stage and stage one, which will take you from 717 to 757, which is where my car is currently sitting at. And then, of course, they're going to give you a transmission tune so that you can handle all the power. The transmission tune, I guarantee you, you'll recognize and realize that's there almost immediately, right? Your car will shift harder than it ever has, trust me when I say, because mine does. Um, what else? 
if you have a red eye, there's pre-stage, stage one, and stage two. So you can take your red eye from 797 or 807 to 885 or 887, I believe. I believe 887. If you got an old school red eye that's 797, it can take you to 887. If you've got a jailbreak red eye that's currently 807, you should be 900, a little under 900, something like that. Um, but I mean, you're getting a, a relatively substantial amount of power with the warranty attached to it, which is something that I don't, you know, see regularly. You know what I'm saying? I see a lot of people making a lot of power and then as soon as their shit breaks, it's up at, you know, uh, uh, Tuner's Garage just chilling for another two and a half weeks until you can come up with the money to pay for whatever needs to be paid for. Uh, so peace of mind is a big thing, but ultimately for what you're getting, for what you're paying, is it worth it? Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. I'm looking forward to putting my Hellcat ups to up next to a, a standard Hellcat and seeing how bad I do them dirty because I'm sure I'm going to do them dirty. I just feel it. Um, but yeah, the direct connection is worth it. Stage one, stage two, pre-stage, all that stuff, whether you have a Hellcat or a Red Eye, you guys need to do it. I highly recommend it. All right. And I'm not getting paid by Dodge. Unfortunately, hopefully that day will come. I'm not sponsored by Dodge. Once again, unfortunately, hopefully that day will come as well. So when I tell you something, it's because I actually uh, believe in it and I stand behind it. Or rather, you know what? I stand on business. How about that? But as always, guys, it's been your boy Knockout360. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Um, see you guys in the next one, man. Hit me in the comments, man. Like I said, Palmer, Dodge, and Alpharetta, Georgia. I'll put the link in the description so that you can hit them up. Phone number, everything. They're the only dealership, to my understanding, in the South right now that's really doing the stage kits like that. Like, they've got it moving. If you're in Florida, Georgia, North, South Carolina, uh, anywhere close to Georgia, you need to be hitting these guys up. Or call them, and they'll ship the shit to you. Like, they'll ship the pre-stage, the stage one, the stage two, to you. You know what I'm saying? And you can take it to your local Dodge dealership and have them install it. So it's not one of those things where you got to drive down there and have them install it. Me, personally, I just did it because, you know, I'm right up the street from them. Uh, but if you're not close to them, I mean, you can just call them and, and have them ship it to you. They will. You know, they're doing it right now as we speak. So uh, as always, it's been your boy Knockout360. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Peace.